Hello, welcome back to another video of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we will talk about insert record list. So, in uh, Dynamics 365, if you know, this particular record insert list is a powerful X++ class that allow you to efficiently insert multiple record into a single database operation. So, remember this point? It will efficiently insert multiple record into a single database operation. We already talked about the insert method uh, of a table. It will re re insert the record one by one. But this particular uh, class will be useful for inserting multiple record into a single database operation. And this significantly improve the performance compared to the inserting record one by one especially for the large data set here in this uh, front end you can see that we have a table employee table and i opened it in the table browser and it's having designation gender employee name database salary em sorry employee salary these fields and all these are uh, system generated so i want to uh, insert the set of record at a single operation so how can i do that i'll show you that one so as you can see that we have a table over here so if you open the table you will be able to see that this is our table we already discussed about this table but to uh, insert that data we have to take a runnable class right so here our purpose is insert multiple record into a table in a single database call also the purpose of this particular record insert list to reduce the communication between the application and the database so it will be the faster execution so in this runnable class i have written my code inside the main method i want i want to insert the record in the employee table that's why you have to create a buffer of the employee table itself then after that what we have to do you just have to create a object of the record insert list to create a record insert list what you have to do you just have to instantiate the record insert list but as a parameter or as a in the constructor of this particular record insert list you have to pass a table name so in our case the table will be the employee table because we are creating a list with the help of this particular table so that's why you have to pass the employee table so whatever the table you want to use you can use any table okay and now to get the record we are using a loop or if you have a data you can also use that one but here we are creating our own data i want to create the list of records uh, via this for loop and uh, what it is actually doing i am starting it from one and it will be run five times uh, because here the i plus plus is there that means it will run five times and each and every time we are inserting the employee id so here i can mention it as a i because every time it will change its uh, employee id one by one and after that uh, i i am just giving the name roman and concatenating concatenating with i that means first time it will take as roman one two three four like this one five time it will run after the designation each and every time i am taking the value with the help of uh, enum answer the designation and as a gender answer the gender as a male and after that uh, i am uh, mentioning the employee salary uh, 1000 plus one here i can mention also i okay so if i'll mention over i then the salary will be added 1001 1002 3 4 like this one like that way and after that i am adding you have to call this particular function add method okay this is present in the record insert list and if i will uh, pass this particular buffer with the help of the object then it will add all those all records inside your list then it will run five times 
and at the end what I will do with the help of this particular object I can call insert method insert database method so insert database method is present inside this particular class itself so that's why we are able to call this particular function insert database so here you have to remember this two point here is the add method what it actually do it use the add method to populate the list with the record instances and here the below instance database this particular method call the insert database to commit the records to the database itself okay so that's it and now what we will do i'll just save this particular class and i'll build this project and then i will run and i'll show you the result that it is actually inserting the record or not let it complete then i'll show you the result now you can easily see that our build completed okay now what we'll do i'll just start it and before that uh, let me refresh the table itself and you can see there is no record now i will execute my code so to execute the code just click on the run button you can see that our uh, runnable class is actually running now you can see that our uh, class executed successfully now we will go to our table and uh, we will replace and we will see the result so here is our table now i will repress it and we will be able to see five record will be in or inserted by the code okay now uh, each time we have initialized employee designation as engineer also um, inserted gender as male employee id you can see that one two three four like this but uh, the name is actually not doing it it's correctly because i have done some mistake in my code and salary you can see every time it's adding one right so one thousand one two three four like this so in one trip of the database it actually inserted these five records so for this name i just have to change a little bit in my code okay so i can just change it to like this so i have to stop it i am formatting to the string and I just have to mention percentile one. So if I'll do this one, it will be fine. So if I'll click run again, it will work fine. Now again, it's running, right? And after the execution, it will insert again, uh, total five rows. Already we have inserted five rows. And in this time it will insert again more five rows and total will get 10 rows right so you can see it's completed now we will press the page once again so let me repress from this section so as is lost connection so again it actually repress the page from the top and as you can see this uh, records from the first tip first trip and this uh, five records are from the um, at this time it is actually inserted so i hope now it's clear that how we can actually uh, insert the record uh, via the uh, record insert list class and here the uh, more important thing here is that here you have to use the add method and at the end uh, this is the insert uh, database and this will insert all the record in one call so that's the important thing over here so in summary we can say that record insert list this particular class is very much useful and powerful in x plus plus programming language which allow you to efficiently insert multiple record into a single database operation and this can be significantly 
improve the performance compared to the inserting record one by one, especially for large data sets. Large data set. So it means it's having the key features of bulk insertion. It can add multiple records to the list before writing them to the database. It can add multiple records to the list before writing them to the database. So that's the important point that you have to remember. Also, it's having the feature so automatic flashing. So what does it actually mean? It means the system automatically insert records when it's efficient, not necessarily waiting for an explicit call. It works seamlessly across the client server tires. And you already know that how to use it. You have to create the instance of this particular class to specify the target table using its table number or the table name. And then you have to do the add record using the add method to populate the list of the data with the instances. You have to use the add method to add into the list after that you have to insert the database you have to call the insert database uh, function to commit the records to the database so i hope now it's clear that how we can use the record insert list in x plus plus programming language so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye